We're here at the Business Startup Show, and uh, with me we have one of our guest speakers, um, Fraser Doherty, and um, he's, we've got we've had David Gold, we've had a whole heap of different entrepreneurs, but now we're going to hear from someone who started off quite young. So thank you for being with us, Fraser. You're welcome. Thanks for having me. And um, so tell us about about your your journey into the world of business. Uh, well, my adventures in jam began at the age of 14 uh, when my grandmother taught me how to make jam one afternoon okay. in her kitchen in Scotland and I started making jam as a hobby and selling it to the neighbours and at farmers markets and to little shops and kind of grew and grew over the course of a few months and got to the point I was cooking about a thousand jars of jam a week in my parents' tiny oh my little gosh. kitchen and I realised that if I wanted to make any kind of business I would have to figure out how to move production into a factory and create a brand and you know get my products into the Is this when you were still still 14? Uh, well when I was about <laughs> 16 or 17 wow. I, I came up with the idea of making jam 100% fruit uh, okay. so without any sugar and it's all natural and I called it super jam and I went along to a waitrose meet the buyer day and to meet the buyer days I like to describe as the X factor of selling groceries to supermarkets. Okay. I kind of pitched my product there and eventually managed to get it into Waitrose's stores. Amazing. So um, we cater for like our, our readership. Um, we've got a lot of people who are thinking about starting a business or who have recently gone in there. Um, what advice would you give to other people who are perhaps in, your, in the same situation as you? They've, they've got a product and they're just thinking, how do we, how do we get in there and um, launch it with their own business? Yeah, I mean, I've learned a huge amount uh, on the journey of taking my tiny product made at home to the big supermarkets. And everything that I've learned about it, I've written in a book called Super Business, uh, which just, there. It was just launched a couple of weeks ago. And um, I guess the, the main things I would say would be to um, never underestimate the importance of the design of your product, the kind of packaging design. Um, you know, no matter how good the jam in the jar was, was People would never take it off the shelf if it didn't look great. Yeah. Um, but probably the best help and support I had was from having a mentor, um, a guy called Kevin, who had set up his own successful business, and he was just willing to kind of spend a bit of time with me sharing lessons that he had learned. And okay. So he kind of became my mentor, and um, I would recommend to anybody to try and find a mentor. So how did you connect with Kevin? How did you meet him? Oh, well, in my case, Kevin just kind of read about me in the paper one day, and uh, he said that my story reminded him of himself when he was a kid and right. um, he told me a bit about how supermarkets worked and about packaging and um, we've become good friends and he's been giving me advice for you know five or six years now wow. but I think anybody can find a mentor just by not being afraid to just write to people that they admire and ask for their advice. Sure. Um, you, you've been writing a book obviously, um, did, you ever, did you ever imagine that you'd be be at a, a big business event talking about your your book and your product. Like, was this always a dream to go go into business, or where did you see yourself? Yeah, I mean, as a kid, it was always my dream to start my own business. But when I was 14, I would never have imagined that what could start as a hobby in my parents' kitchen could grow into a business that now supplies Tesco and Asda and Sainsbury's and sells millions of jars and. You know, really, you wouldn't imagine that it would be possible to, to turn such a simple idea into a successful business. But I guess my story shows that you know people don't have to reinvent the wheel, and that a really simple idea done well can be a big success. How did you organise the funding in the first place when you when you were looking at getting your your products made commercially? I think a lot of people are terrified by the prospect of having to remortgage their house or borrow a lot of money because you know people imagine that it costs a lot of money to start a business, but in my experience, it was possible to start my business on a really small scale, and I managed to convince designers to work with me cheaply because they believed in the idea. And I was also able to convince suppliers like the factory and um, other people to kind of lend me money to help get the idea off the ground because you know they would benefit from it as well if it was a success. So, yeah. apart from borrowing five thousand pounds from the Prince's Trust, I didn't have to raise any money. Excellent. Uh, so where do you see your your product going or your business going? Are you interested in, in bringing on more products or what's next for you? Yeah, I mean, Super Jam is going, growing like crazy. Uh, we're launching in America and Australia and Canada wow. and all over Europe. And yeah. 
uh, we're launching like, marmalade and maybe lots of other new products like that. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, I had my first show on QVC, uh, so I kind of went on there and told everybody my story. Excellent. Um, so hopefully more of that. But I also run a charity running tea parties for elderly people, and I'm quite ambitious for that as well. Yeah. Wow. Um, just lastly, um, we've we've obviously got it got a lot of people walking around just thinking, oh, should I do it? Should I? Shouldn't I do it? What's What's your best words of advice? I think for anybody who has an idea or you know maybe just dreams of starting a business, I would just say not to be afraid. You know, just give your idea a shot. Um, it might mean trying out on the weekends or evenings after work. You know, you don't have to quit your job. You don't have to quit university. You don't have to borrow lots of money. Um, there really isn't a lot to lose. And, and how old are you now? I'm 22. Getting old. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thanks for having me. Thank you.